Hello, I'm Dr. Sama Bilbao Leon, Director General of World Nuclear Association, the organization representing the global nuclear energy industry. Today, we are launching our World Nuclear Performance Report 2024. This is the ninth edition of the report, presenting a snapshot of the nuclear sector today. It is an analysis of the global nuclear sector in construction and operation. Our performance report shows strong underlying trends for the global nuclear industry. Global nuclear electricity generation rose to 2,602 terawatts hour in 2023, up from 2,544 terawatt hour in the previous year. Nuclear generation provides today 9% of the world's electricity, second only to hydropower, among all the clean energy sources. And in 2023, nuclear reactors helped avoid 2.1 billion tons of carbon dioxide emissions from equivalent coal generation. That is more than the annual emissions of almost every individual country, with only China, the US and India having higher national CO2 emissions. We are right now in a race to meet the world's future energy needs and achieve net zero. And the most timely, cost-effective and equitable route to net zero must include more nuclear energy. Indeed, at least a tripling of global nuclear capacity. In a time of energy insecurity and rising prices for consumers, the dependability of nuclear power is increasingly being recognized by policymakers and the public alike. Ultimately, people and businesses want power they can rely on and they can afford all the time. Last year's report noted the ever-growing policy support for nuclear. This year, momentum has increased even further. At the COP28 climate change conference in Dubai at the end of 2023, nuclear energy received high level recognition from the first time. Leaders from 25 governments signed a declaration agreeing the need for a tripling of global nuclear energy capacity to achieve net zero by 2050. Notably, Countries currently without nuclear energy, such as Ghana, Jamaica, Mongolia, Morocco, and Poland, signed the declaration alongside long established nuclear countries, such as France, South Korea, the UK, and the USA. A significant increase in new nuclear construction is necessary if the tripling goal is to be achieved. Governments are increasingly creating supportive policy environments to advance nuclear plants for both small and large plants with a range of applications, with resurgence in the US, in Canada, and in many European countries. Meanwhile, Asia, particularly China, India, and South Korea, continues to pursue clean energy and industrial strategies that include nuclear power. Nuclear has rapidly become a significant component of the United Arab Emirates energy mix. While the new build programs in other newcomer countries such as Bangladesh, Egypt and Turkey are proceeding extremely well. Nuclear technologies will have a broader role than traditional grid electric supply. There is increasing interest from end energy users such as data centers which have high electricity requirements, and other industrial producers that require heat for chemical and material production applications or desalination. This offers the potential to decarbonize the wider economy, especially hard to abate sectors. The global nuclear reactor fleet has a proven track record of excellent performance, and it is now time to build on that track record and significantly accelerate the pace of new nuclear construction. Now, for more details on this year's Global Nuclear Performance Report, I would like to introduce my colleague, uh, Dr. Jonathan Cobb. Uh, Jonathan, please. Thank you, Summer. Nuclear reactors generated a total of 2,602 terawatt hours of electricity in 2023, 
up 58 terawatt hours on the previous year, supplying around 9% of the world's electricity. Contributing to this growth in generation was a 42 terawatt hour increase in France, recovering around half of the reduction in outputs caused by extended outages in 2022. This recovery should continue through 2024. Looking at nuclear output in different regions, generation continued to rise strongly in Asia, with new reactors in China, the United Arab Emirates, South Korea and Pakistan contributing to this increase. In other regions, generation totals in 2023 were broadly similar to the previous year, although it is worth noting that in both North America and Western Central Europe, generation levels staying the same halted declines seen in those regions in recent years. Globally, nuclear reactors have a consistently high level of performance in terms of capacity factor. Capacity factor compares the actual output of a reactor to its theoretical maximum output, if operated continuously, at 100% of its rated power. In 2023, the global average capacity factor for reactors generating electricity was 81.5%, up from 80.4% in 2022. This continues the trend seen since 2000. There was a steady improvement in average capacity factors from each decade from the 1970s through the 1980s and 1990s, with high capacity factors being achieved since the 2000s. It's important to note that this is a global improvement across all reactors, from those built in the 1970s through to those built more recently. There is no age-related decline in nuclear reactor performance. Indeed, higher than average capacity factors have been achieved by reactors exceeding 45 years of operation. This continued high level of performance regardless of age is a positive indicator when considering how long a reactor can be expected to operate. Operators are now routinely considering running reactors for 60 to 80 years or more. Given that the average age of the global nuclear fleet in operation today is around 32 years, the nuclear fleet is relatively young. Nevertheless, if nuclear is to make a growing contribution to clean electricity supply, new nuclear construction will be needed. In 2023, construction began on six large pressurised water reactors, five reactors in China and one at the Al Daba site in Egypt. With these construction starts, the total number of units under construction at the end of 2023 was 61, and it now stands at 64, with nearly half of those reactors under construction in China. Five reactors were connected to the grid for the first time in 2023. This includes the Machov C3 unit in Slovakia, where construction had started in 1987, before being halted in 1990 and resuming again in 2015. The average construction time for those five reactors is considerably higher than that achieved in recent years, with a median time of 121 months for 2023, compared to 88 months in 2021 and 89 months in 2022. Five reactors were shut down in 2023, including the last three reactors in Germany, and one in Belgium, plus one more in Taiwan, China. In each case, the closure was primarily driven by government policies, rather than for operational reasons. While these five reactors were forced to close, the first of our three case studies focuses very much on the reverse situation. The work being done at the Palisades nuclear power plant to bring the unit back online. The Palisades nuclear power plant in Michigan, USA was acquired by Holtec from its then owner and operator Energy in June 2022. Just over a month before its acquisition, the plant was shut down, having generated more than 230 terawatt hours of electricity over the course of its 50 years of service. At that time, it was intended to dismantle, decontaminate and remediate the plant, all by 2041. However, following strong local, state and federal support, Holtec announced plans to reopen the plant. Plant work is underway and Holtec is currently targeting a late 2025 restart of the reactor, with generation until 2051 under consideration. When online, the facility supports roughly 600 full-time, high-paying jobs during regular operation, as well as supporting the local economy. Two more of our case studies highlight how the nuclear industry is getting more valuable clean generation from its existing fleet. In South Korea, 
KHMP is pursuing continued operation of the first 10 of its reactors to allow for an additional 10 years of operation at each unit. And in Czechia, Chez have optimized the operation of their reactors at Dukovny to increase their output by 2.3% without increasing fuel consumption or emissions. Following on from the previous upgrades that increased output by 13.5%. As well as global results and case studies, the World Nuclear Performance Report contains overviews of more than 35 countries with operable nuclear reactors or reactors under construction. Here we highlight three. First off, the United States. The USA has 94 operable reactors, the highest number of any single country. The average capacity factor in the USA is high, regularly exceeding 90%. While the average age of reactors in the US at 43 years is higher than the global average of 32, plans are already in place to operate reactors for 60 to 80 years, which means there's much generation still to come from these reactors and this is evidenced by Palisade's proposed return to service. But for nuclear to make a growing contribution in the US, new construction is needed. The pace at which nuclear can be deployed is illustrated by the United Arab Emirates, where all four of reactors at Baraka are now operable. The time for construction is often raised when discussing nuclear's role in decarbonisation. However, this overlooks the ability to build reactors in near parallel, the first reactor from the United Arab Emirates took eight years from pouring first concrete to grid connection. It came online in 2020. The next reactor came online just over one year later in 2021, with the third in 2022 and the fourth in March 2024. Over the space of less than four years, the United Arab Emirates has gone from no nuclear electricity to meeting 25% of its electricity needs from nuclear energy an incredible pace for the introduction of clean, low-carbon generation. Finally, we focus on China. A period of rapid nuclear expansion has seen generation from nuclear reactors nearly quadruple over the last decade. With 56 operable reactors and 30 under construction, China will likely overtake France in terms of reactor numbers this year or next to take second place behind the United States. But the pace of new nuclear construction needs to accelerate for nuclear's share of electricity supply to increase beyond the 5% it currently has in China. World Nuclear Performance Report is now available online and in print. Just go to world-nuclear.org to get your copy. But for now, from our Director General, Samuel Bilbala-Leon and me, thank you and goodbye.